Hello guys and welcome to a new chapter. It is going to be about Google Updates. And today, we'll start with the first update we have, which is Google Penguin Update. So what is it? What is Google Penguin Update? Let me start by telling you a short story. So in 2012, Google has noticed a crazy increase in the amount of websites that are full of spams and bad links, just so that they can increase their rankings. These websites has a lot of content that may seem legit, but actually, it just isn't. It's just a spammy website. And there were so many websites like these back in 2012. That's why Google decided to put an end to it by launching Google Penguin Update, which was specifically made to catch these websites. So chances are, if you had a spammy website back then, you definitely noticed some decline in traffic because of that new Penguin algorithm. And then another update came in 2013. Google Penguin 2.0. In this update, the Penguin started looking deeper than the website's homepage and top level category pages for evidence of link spam. And then Google Penguin 3.0 came in October 2014. This update offered a second chance for those previously doomed spammy websites, so that if they enhanced their website, they could emerge and rise again in the rankings. However, those who were still full of spams their rankings became even worse. And finally, the biggest update happened when Google Penguin 4.0 launched in 2006, and it became part of the core Google searching algorithm, which means that it was running in real time. While also another thing was added in that update, instead of penalizing spammy links and give their websites lower rankings, it just devalues those links as if they were non-existent which is partly in favor of these websites actually, because however, if they don't have other good contents, they won't be making the first pages anytime soon. Now the real question would be, how to make your website Penguin compliant? Number one, choose quality over quantity. We know that we told you to prefer lengthy and extra long contents, but the thing is, their length is never enough. They also need to be composed of high quality materials so that they can never be marked as spam. Like surely if your content isn't good enough for the readers, it definitely isn't good enough for the penguin as well. Number two, check your anchor text. Now this is one major thing. If you want to be penguin compliant, the anchor text is the one you see before clicking on a link. It's the text written on any hyperlink on your page. And our tip here is to make your anchor text as diverse as possible. Don't use the same text for all of your links. Because here's what happened in the past. People used to add a lot of links on their websites with the same anchor text, such as download now, download, download now, and all of these things. And of course, all of these websites were mostly fake ones, and they were potentially marked as spam. So to stop that, Google implemented a solution in their Google Penguin update to check for the anchor text and see if it's repetitive or not. And third and finally, post creatively diverse contents. If diversity in your content isn't enough, it's because you lack the creativity. Be creative as much as you can. You can post content on the blogs of non-competitors, produce viral contents that will get you some extra traffic, connect with key influencers who will link your site on their blogs, expand as much as you can. But all of course without ever thinking of a spammy road, like buying links or buying visits and comments, because those things will get you nowhere. This was just the first one of the Google updates. Now, now that we have explained it to you, make sure to keep your site compliant to it so that you always stay on the safe side and earn better rankings.